My name is Lin Wang and uh, I'm from China. I've been studying art since I was a little girl. I knew I'm going to become an artist so very early. I had my master study in Bergen. Um, after this, I work as a um, full-time artist. But the last three years, I've been working between China and uh, Norway, uh, like shifting between these two countries. But uh, it, this pattern has been broken by the corona things happened. Uh, so it's my first year to have um, my studio in Oslo um, and to found a new way of uh, working with my new project. I mean, Norway, before, before I came to here, is really an exotic land for me. And I've been fascinated a lot about the West when I was living in China. So until I moved to here, so when the exotic dreams come to real life, I realized that, uh, well, there were a lot of things that are different. And um, I also realized that uh, um, the locals, the Western, People, they have some exotic dreams. They also have these uh, um, pictures or movies or exotic dreams about uh, where I come from. Um, so when these two exotic dreams come across each other, I found the common poet is in poetic misunderstandings because we all have uh, like uh, uh, pictures or stereotypes about each other. So I found that, okay, that could be a um, topic I could bring up. So also helping me to um, present myself in a less exotic way and more personal way than beyond these exotic uh, um, dreams. I work with uh, very different mediums. My main occupation is porcelain because it's such a unique, uh, charming material. It's so difficult to handle and it's so poetic. And also the material itself, it has uh, such beautiful historical uh, meaning, many layers in many, many ways. But in the same time, um, if, if I work with one project and this, I have a concept, so where the concept need, uh, where I go for the material. So for instance, I had um, a very experimental show in Bergen recently. And Bergen is a very special place for me because it's my first uh, Western harbor in my life. The experience is more like a young sailor. They never had no experience and then suddenly and traveled to another land. Uh, so after some years, I, I leave some marks on there. <laughs> um, so I perform in from the window as a pin up China girl wearing the tattoos I've been gained from my daily life here. Good one or a little bit negative one, but that's life. Um, and also after that, that was the first performance. The second one was I was tattooing um, people, the locals, and they came and dropped me, dropped me a very personal story and I trans transformed the story into a tattoo on back to them. So they're going to wear in those tattoos rest of their life around the harbor. <laughs> I think it's romantic. <laughs> I also work with food. Um, I cook for many, making like performance dinners. My last performance dinner was hosting 200 people, 200 guests in the Kuznalahus, uh, in collaborated with National Museum. So I hosted, cooked for 200 of them. So in a huge uh, dinner table, also with my artworks. I have performers, I have like a wine fountain. Uh, so, so the guests came and uh, have the social part and enjoy the food. After food, the art sculptures, the installations start to appear. Um, and also uh, the audience, they are part of the performance, they are part of the art project. Uh, so it's a new way to approaching the project. And I think it's, it's a lot of fun to not just, uh, okay, you made the work, okay, I'm going to expand it there to break the traditional way or to find the possibilities and how 
porcelain hot ceramic could be exhibited and also um, how the audience could be involved. In general, uh, we are a small group of um, people dare to go to or dare or enjoy to go to uh, gallery museums, right? But art does need widen audience. So how can I invite them to my exhibition? So also using different uh, material and different way to present my work to attract them. Still life is living still in my stomach. I have uh, like enough distance to looking back on my own culture. And so I found like um, a perfect uh, medium, which is uh, still life painting back to the history. The West meet the East to the sea business, the, the sea trade, and the still life is um, sort of the metaphor or the perfect uh, um, archive for their sea achievement. They managed to sail into to Far East, to China, to bring the um, beautiful blue China back to Europe. Um, they managed to Africa to bring the exotic animals, um, fruits back to Europe. So still life shows their world achievement. But I try to switch from the, the perspective from the West way of thinking to the East way of uh, thinking. So bring this historical still life into a contemporary context. It will be um, the same fashion of uh, discovery time, the uh, golden time. We are like really ambitious. We really get this, get this, traveling to there, sitting to there. Um, so I will do it in the same fashion, size matters and a very lush exotic object from uh, everywhere in the world. It's like fruit, exotic uh, animals, goose, um, set up all the table, but all in white, a different shade of white, and the screen, um, video screens among those objects. Also, it would be very interesting to see when I present this work uh, in the West context, how my audience would react I have my own voice inside of there in a very um, delicate way, um, but they will find it. They will feel something strange, and then, then I think they would come and ask why. So probably um, I will get a lot of different voices from that. I don't know what's next, but um, still life is quite big, so I will continue work when I finish the first show. Uh, I want to add a different element on this, I found a way that to mix in this project. I realize that it's already become part of me, this way of seeing, um, to perspective seeing, uh, to see this object in um, um, perspective, weight, depths, and is already part of the grace from training the Western system of aesthetic training is already part of me. Uh, so it's helped me to understand myself a little bit better. I thought I'm very Chinese and uh, absolutely made in China, but actually not. I think it's a good moment to um, check in back to history uh, because we have uh, in, in the, our contemporary world, we are having new challenges about uh, globalization, uh, new challenges about uh, other cultures, because it's our everyday life now. <laughs>